Here's if you look at this with me. The sum of three consecutive integers is 132. What are the three integers is the question. But before we can move on, we have to understand what that sentence is even saying. So let's pick it apart. The sum means what are we going to be doing with something? We're adding. What do you think consecutive means? 7, 8, 9 are consecutive. 21, 22, 23 are consecutive. They're like on the number line right behind each other. 1, 2, 3 is consecutive. Is 1, 2, 3 going to equal 132? No. Go ahead and close your book. And in your notebook, again, I'm not writing this in my notebook because I already have it in there, so mine does not have lined paper. I want you to write x. And x equals the first number. x equals the first number. We're trying to find three numbers in a row that equal 132. So if x equals the first number, how much more than x is the second number? One more. So in parentheses, we're going to put x plus 1 to stand for the second number. How much more than the first number is the third number? Two more. So we're going to put x plus 2 in parentheses. First number, second number, third number. What does it equal? 132. We just wrote an equation to show what three consecutive numbers added together equaling 132. We just took the words and we turned it into an equation. How many total x's are there? So now we've got the equation written, we can combine like terms. We get 3x plus what? 1 plus 2 would be 3 equals 132. What should our next step be? I heard subtraction. What are we subtracting? The 3. 3x then is equal to 129. And I know we don't have calculators all out there, so I'll tell you what it is. We're going to divide by 3. Every time we have a fraction that the numerator and denominator is the same, it's equal to 1. 1 times x is x. 129 divided by 3 is 43. What did we say our first number was equal to? X. What are we saying X is equal to? 43. So the numbers should be 43, 44, and 45. How can we check it? There's two ways. The first way is we can put 43 here, 44 here, 45 here, and solve, right? What's the easier way? Just add them up, right? 43, 44, 45. When I add them, do I get 132? 7 plus 5 is 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 is, or 3, 4 is yes. 12 plus 1 is 13, so we get 132. It checks. Open your book back to page 12. The try it is a little bit different. It says the sum of three consecutive what? Odd. Is 57. That's going to make this a little bit more challenging to set up. Three consecutive odd integers could be 1, 3, 5. What's the difference than me saying 1, 2, 3? Yeah. It's the next odd number, and I've skipped a number, haven't I? So as I'm setting this up, it's not going to be x plus 1 for the second number. It's going to be x plus 3. Okay? So I'm going to let you guys set this up. 
The first of the of the three consecutive numbers of some part bringing the wrong part. The sum of three consecutive odd integers is 57. What are the three integers? Set up your equation and see if you can find it. 